My name is Python GB and welcome back to the 27th episode of my Python plays Terraria Let's Play. This of course is my 1.3 Let's Play on normal mode and ladies and gentlemen in today's episode we are finally going to be getting round to it. We are finally going to get round to making some more NPC houses because it is about time. We have been putting it off for so long now and without any good reason to be honest and I do apologize for that but anyways we are going to be going ahead and getting on with this thing today now if we go down here i just want to see if i can make any walls uh dynasty candle or dynasty candle uh yeah that's pretty cool got a bunch of walls the only thing is i don't like the dynasty walls because they look like poop frankly uh i want something else we're going to be using the dynasty wood for the actual place itself and i need to go ahead and start getting the structure down now i have a rough idea of the kind of thing I want to go for. Actually, I've just realized something. This gives us a proper opportunity to start using this thing, the gizmo pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the gauntlets for now. Okay, I'll put them back on once we come to it. So let's just remind ourselves, increases tile and wall placement speed and reach automatically paints placed objects. Awesome. Right, so we need to go ahead and get some sort of structure going here. As I said, I do have a sort of idea for a shape I want to go for. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all go ahead and get the structure down. And I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to start getting on with the insidey parts of the house. So yeah, meet you guys back in a moment. Alrighty guys, here we go with the progress update. As you can see, things are starting to look pretty good inside of this place. And actually, I just need to make a bit of an adjustment here. Uh, actually, no, that doesn't look better. I don't like that. Uh, let's just keep with that. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just to go and smooth that out just a little bit. There we go. Fan dabby dozy. Right, okay. So if I do this, this is where the door's going to go. And another one over here. And what we're going to do is we are going to grab out some wood. Make ourselves some wooden beams. Because wooden beams are just amazing in pretty much every single way going. So if we go over here, we should be able to make ourselves some beams. Uh, wood beam. There we go. Fan dabby dozy. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I've already got a bunch of wood on me. <laughs> Cool. All right. I'm okay with that. And what we need to do is we need to start making some supports because we're going to be making the entrance to this entire place uh, sort of a big stairway going up. And then obviously we can have stuff sort of underneath the staircase, if we will. We'll have a little garden area under here. And yeah, things will hopefully look pretty damn cool once they're finished. Oh, there's that rare human quack sound. Did you hear that? It was right there, man. That was awesome. Right. Okay. Uh, does it make sense for me to have beams here? I don't honestly know. Right, uh, shade wood. Would shade wood or pearl wood go better? I've been using pearl wood for the most part, so do you know what? We're going to continue going for that. Right, okay, so that's 42. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make ourselves a staircase going down. I love the new auto place feature, man. That is just the best thing in the world. Right, okay, we need to dig up the old graveyards. Here we go. And let's do the same over here. Do, 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 do. Need to get rid of this little marigold. There we go, and... Come on. And there we go. Okay, so fantastic. We've got all of that going. We just need to make some doors, some furniture. I'm going to need to go ahead and make or dig up quite a lot of wood. Hmm. But then again, maybe I don't. I need to try and decide what kind of furniture set I want to go for inside of this house. And do you know what? I think Dynasty Furniture might actually cut the mustard. I mean, we have 687 bits left. Which, of course, is quite a lot. So, yeah. Can I make a large dynasty lantern? There it is. Maybe we can use these for the underside lighting. Let's have a look, shall we? Can I place them here? Nope. Okay. Uh, can I place them here? Yeah, there we go. So, one there. We'll have one over here. And then one here, perhaps. Do you know what? I might move these along slightly. I want to make sure they're all sort of equally spaced out, if you get what I mean. So, maybe one here. And then one here. Is that equally spaced out? I think it is, actually. Yep, looking at it, it looks pretty cool. All right, so I want to have grass backgrounds for these sort of upside-down triangle areas. Because I think that would look pretty cool. I need to try and remind myself of how to do that. Uh, we need dirt blocks, so let's grab them out. Okay, right. Now, how does one make them? Grass walls. I know there is a way of doing it. I'm just not entirely sure how exactly to do it. Maybe I need a living loom. 
or something. I, I can't remember entirely. Uh, do we have a living loom, actually? I don't think we do. God damn it, man. Well, we're not very prepared on this world, are we? And nor do we... Well, we don't have any giant trees at all. Wow, that's, that's the first time I've had a world in a long time which doesn't have uh, a living loom gigantic tree. That's pretty rare, dude. Okay, well, it looks like we'll have to go for dirt walls then. Dirt walls? Yeah. Alright, so if we go down here, uh, dirty walls, shadewood walls. Ooh, pearlwood walls? Eh? There's a variety of stuff we can go for. Alright, that'll do the job. So let's go back over here. Uh, will the auto place get this correct? Or will it make it go outside? Uh, yeah, it's making it go outside. God damn it. Alright. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but oh well, it looks like we're gonna have to manually place these in, which isn't too much of a hassle. So let's just go ahead and get this going. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue putting in all the walls and hopefully I'll bring you guys back once we're ready to start putting in the furniture. Ooh, die train has just arrived. Awesome stuff. And, well, if you can't tell already, I am using shade wood walls as the background walls inside of the house. So, yep, that's why I'm going ahead and grabbing a bunch of that. And we just need to go inside the house and see how things are going. I've got to tell you something. The shade wood background walls actually look really freaking good. So, yeah, I'm really happy that I uh, sort of discovered that, I guess. Uh, right, let's go down to 200 wood left. Okay. Things are looking good, and the best thing I love about the gizmo pack is this. Look how quickly you can place in walls now, it's amazing. Right, we just need to open the rest of the doors and get this all sort of placed in like so. There we go, found Abidozy. Look at it, man. Just, just so quick now. <laughs> I could probably finish this entire thing on camera now. I mean, just look at it. It's just so quick. Oh, man. But yeah, I mean, it's not very often I do building episodes, is it? So I thought, you know, we might as well go ahead and, uh, you know change things up a little bit, maybe introduce a little bit more variety into the series instead of just doing all the action-packed stuff all the time. I mean, to be honest, this has been very, very much long overdue, you know, making uh, making more houses because we've needed it, especially for the die trader, because we haven't really done anything with the die trader yet in the series, and I feel like it's time we did that, so yeah. But before we do that, I just want to see... Hmm, right, we're going to make the remaining wood back into, like, actual wood items. There we go, 23. And then we are going to see how pearl wood looks for the backgrounds of the lamps. So, let's go over here. Oh, that looks pretty decent. I'm all right with that. It's like a pretty light-looking background, isn't it? That's okay. I'm okay with that. That actually looks pretty decent. Right, boom, boom. I love the extended range you get with the gizmo pack as well. That thing is pretty freaking sweet, man. I'm really glad that I managed to make that. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. So, that's all the background walls done. Now, we need to get the lighting sources going. Uh, we don't have a great deal of pearl wood left, unfortunately. Maybe I could use lanterns in each room. Hmm. Lanterns? That could be a cool idea. Shade wood lanterns? Ooh. This could be pretty cool. Let's have a look. So, that goes in there. That go Oh, my God. This looks amazing. I am liking this. Uh, I could have two in here because, you know, I can't get that perfect. Two in here, one in here, two in this one. Dude, this is amazing. I am loving the look of this. Wow. Okay, we just need to make some more. So let's get some more of those things. No, not pearl wood. We need shade wood. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that do the job? So one there. Uh, oh, I need to go ahead and do this, don't I? Oh, crap. I broke the walls! I'm a terrible person. I've already destroyed these people's houses before they've even moved into it. Oh dear. Right. Uh, yeah, we'll just put one in here, I guess. That'll do the job. So, I'll go in there. I could go there. This could go here. Okay, let's go in here. Place one down. One there. One there. One here. And then one here. Okay, so that's all the lighting sources complete. We just need to go ahead and get the other stuff in. So... Let's get some dynasty or dynasty tables and stuff. So let's put one there. Uh, not there, not there. Let's put one up here. Yep, okay. One in the corner here. One in this corner. Okay, table, table. Okay, man, I'm looking, I'm liking the look of this house so far, dudes. I really am, actually. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Okay, put one there. So we need four more tables. Okay, so that should be too difficult. One, two, three, four. So I've got to put that there. Go in here, put that one. Oh, I wanted to go like directly under the lamp, if you haven't noticed already, for 
I don't know, OCD slash design reasons. Okay, and then we need a bunch of seats. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 seats. Blimey. Didn't realize we've got enough space for 14 new NPCs. Blimey, good lord. I'm happy with that, dude. I'm, not, I'm definitely not complaining that I've accidentally managed to make a house for millions of NPCs. Really happy with that. Okay, that could go there. Uh, okay, so boom, boom. Oh, we're going to get so many NPCs. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, it's going to be cool. And then we can like hang banners and everything else in here as well, which is going to be awesome. You know, there is no sort of limitations to how much stuff you could do to a house in Terraria. Okay, two more of them for this one here. And that should do the job. Let's just make sure they're all, you know, feasible, suitable, 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 suitable. Suitable. Yep, okay, cool. Not valid housing. Ah, that might be a bit of a bummer. Suitable, not valid. Already occupied. What about this one? Yep, alright. Oh, I need to go ahead and make... Which rooms was it? These ones here, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh, good lord. Whoops, a doodle. Did not mean to do that. Stupid auto place. <laughs> Why did I do that, man? I probably broke their house again. God damn it. Shadewood walls. Wait, where'd the rest of the Shadewood walls go? Or did I not even make any? Huh, I don't know, dudes. Right, I'll tell you what. I'm Blood Moon, are you for real? Oh, God damn it! Right. <laughs> while we're doing this, and while we're getting the remaining things going, I'm going to be jumping... God damn it, Auto Mine! Auto Mine is such a pain in the ass. But yeah, while we're doing this, we're going to jump into the question of the video. And for today, my friends, that comes from a user by the name of Hang... Hoon, and I do apologize if I've pronounced your name wrong, but his question is, what is your favorite potion? My favorite potion, without any shadow of a doubt, would have to be, oh, let me just go save these guys, it would have to be the good old Spelunka potion, because I don't know about you guys, I just love being able to see where all the potions are, not potions, see where the potions are, no, I want to see where all the valuables are, all the ores, the hearts, all that kind of stuff, it's just a really, really good potion to have, and I really really enjoy using it so yeah all right okay i'm just going ahead okay we're just getting the where'd they go lamps there we go one there and one there okay fantastic this should now be feasible there we go cool right okay so now we have a total of one two three four five nine twelve houses in one pretty freaking cool if i do say so myself okay cool Oh man, I now have to go ahead and deal with these guys. Oh, I tell you something. We need to go ahead and farm these guys out for black lenses, don't we? So we're gonna go ahead and farm the Blood Moon out. See if we can't get anything cool. If not, then oh well. If so, then cool. We might be able to make an optic staff at long last. I've been trying to make that thing for such a long time now, and the game has just not been giving me the things that I need. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on, my friends. Uh, okay, this is slightly different. <laughs> I've got a Nimbus inside my house. <laughs> Why not? Why the heck not? Ah, oh, man. Let's have a look. Uh, ah, oh, still no sign of a black lens. Have they made black lenses rarer in 1.3? Because I swear to God, I've done like three to four blood moons in hard mode now, and I haven't gotten a single black lens. Well, that kind of sucks. Once again, we cannot make the optic staff. Ah, uh, god damn it. Do you know what? I just wanna I just wanna check something really quick. Just real quick. Hold on, let's just go ahead and uh I got KO cannon? Where did I get that from? <laughs> it must be the NPCs who killed the dude to get that. Okay, interesting. Got a bunch of accessories, which I guess is cool. Obviously, we need that, because that's uh, we already had that. Uh, right, uh, statues and banners, boom, boom. Uh, godly care cannon, I'm probably gonna, not going to use that, let's be honest. So let's put that in there, and of course, the thing, that goes in there. Right, I just want to see really quick. All right, boss summoning stuff, let's grab that. I wonder if the crafting recipe has changed. I bet it hasn't, let's be honest. Yeah, still need a black lens. Damn it, man. Can't believe we haven't got one yet. That's ridiculous. But anyway, whatever the case, let's just uh, have a look at the house really quick. Yep, all still going well. Uh, I just need to remind myself of what I need to do now. In fact, you know what? I think we're pretty much done with it. Yeah. We just need to do something with the underside now. Maybe put some stuff uh, under the stairs. So, I'm thinking... Hmm. What are we... What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I'm thinking we put fences down. 
uh, among a bunch of other stuff, of course. Uh, let's just do that. And let's go grab some wood out. Uh, just some generic wood. Yeah, that should pretty much do it. Uh, I want to make some fences. Do I make that at the sawmill? Fences at the sawmill? Or is that done at the crafting table? I think it's done at the crafting table, which seems a bit weird considering it's a wood-related thing. Pearlwood fence? Shadewood fence? Now, this could look pretty cool. Oh, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, man. Let's put this here. Oh, this is looking good. I like this. I am liking that. That is cool. That looks cool. Oh, it counts as a wall. Ah, okay. So, yeah, we need to keep them there. Interesting. Okay, well, maybe we can get some other things going in this background wall here. Like I said, I really want to try and get some grass walls, but I don't know how to get them without a living loom. So we'll have to try and figure that out at some point, or if you guys know, then of course, uh, leave your responses in the comments area below. But whatever the case, we're done with the house. It's looking good. We just need to go ahead and spruce it up just a little bit. Maybe we can put some furniture down, because I'm pretty sure we've got a bunch that we haven't even put down yet. So, bewitching table, yep. Alchemy table, yep. Solidify, yep. Okay, what else have we got that we could put down? A Boreal bookcase. Look at that, man. It looks cool. Okay, and a honey dispenser. Don't have one of them yet. All right, so we've got a campfire there. Maybe we can put another one by the house. Put some heart lanterns down as well. Okay, so let's go over here. Put that down. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Right, that can go there. Put a campfire in the center, which is here. There we go. And then we could put some of these uh, bits of furniture in here as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. It's actually perfectly measured up so we can have three three block wide accessory things. Okay, so we need one more thing to put there. Have we got anything else that we can put down there? Potentially? Furniture chest? Uh, a piano? We could put this other extractinator down. Oh no, bone welder. Yeah, let's put the bone welder down. I don't think we've got one of them put down anyway yet. So there we go. Fantastic. We've actually got this all going. And uh, maybe we could just tuck a torch in there just for the hell of it. There we go. Wait, is that right? Yeah, it is right. Okay, cool. Yeah. This is looking cool, man. I am loving this. We have ourselves a brand new NPC house, and things are looking cool. The witch doctor has arrived. Things are looking up. I actually tr want to try and buy a Clentaminator. Do we have a Steampunker yet? Oh, uh, Steampunker. Uh, oh, we do have a Steampunker. Hey, buddy. Right, I want to buy the Clentaminator from you. It is two platinum, and that is going to completely wipe us out. Eh, we could buy the steampunk wings instead. Oh, I want to buy both things, man. I want to buy the contaminator and the steampunk wings. God damn it. All right, I'm going to try and uh, rustle together some money, my friends. And yeah, we're going to try and buy that thing because I really freaking want it, actually. I really do want it. It sounds like a cool thing to have. Yeah. All right, back in a sec, guys. Alrighty guys, here's round one of getting rid of things that are either dupes or we just don't need. Oh my god, we're gonna get so much money from this. Here we go! Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. Yep. Oh man, that is cool. We have 75 gold now, which is pretty freaking sweet, but there's still a bunch of stuff I could probably get rid of, so I'm gonna come back in just a sec. Alright, and here's the second load of stuff we can actually get rid of. All of this stuff is duplicated or stuff we just don't need anymore, including the Broken Hero Soul. We just don't need them anymore, do we? Let's be honest, because we have the Terror Blade already. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff as well. Do -do 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 there we go. Right, now then, is that going to bring us up to three platinum? Yes! Oh, we are so rich right now, man. We're so rich, and now we're about to not be rich. Oh! Okay, that's regular, and that's regular as well. Although I don't think you can get uh, things with that. The, the, what's it called? The prefixes. Right. Oh, that stung! That stung a lot, dude. Right, I need to try and compare these two. Mothron wings versus Steampunker wings. Uh, I wonder if there is a way I could test it. I mean, maybe I could just try and feel? Or I could go by this map here. Okay, so that went up to there. So let's just fall back down. Okay, and let's put the steampunk wings on. If the blackness of the undiscovered area goes away further, then it means we've actually got better wings here. Okay, steampunk wings. Oh, that's better, actually. Steampunk wings are better. Sweet. Okay, right. I bet these are an absolute bomb to reforge, though. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to seeing this. 33 gold. I can't even reforge them, dude. 
God damn! <laughs> That's ridiculous! Alright, let's put that in there and let's get the clean terminator. Right, I want to try, this is going to sound really weird, but I have a project in mind for a future episode in that I want to make a couple of farming areas, okay? Now bear with me, it's going to sound weird, but I want to do this thing. The reason why I want to make a couple of farming areas is I want to try and get some uh, keys going. And yeah, basically what I want to do is I want to try and crimsonify a bunch of jungles. So we have both the jungle and the crimson, both in one biome. We can make a big box area, farm out a bunch of dudes, get both the jungle key and the crimson key. And then elsewhere, we are going to have a farming area for the hallowed area. And of course, an area for the snow area. So yeah, we should be able to get all four keys on this world. Obviously, the corruption key is something we can't have because we don't have corruption on this world. So yeah. Okay, so uh, before heading off, I just want to give you my question on the video to you guys. It's probably going to be passed on in that uh, the question is, what is your favorite buff potion in Terraria? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions for the question of the video, be sure to leave them in the comments area below and you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. But ladies and gentlemen, we have something that we have been saving up for a damn long time. We have got all of these strange plants right here and we have the task of going ahead and seeing just what kind of things we can get with them. So, let's head up the stairs, go into the house, let's talk to this guy. We'll just keep going. Just keep going. Just spam it. Just keep spamming it. Just keep spamming. Just keep spamming. Just keep spamming, spamming, spamming. Oh my god. We've got rainbow dye. Oh my god, this is the greatest day ever. <laughs> Alright, let me just uh, turn some things off so I can actually see my guy. This is so cool. Let's turn the shield off. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Dude, this looks so cool. I look like a right idiot. <laughs> oh, man. This looks brilliant, dude. We should totally have a look and see what other dyes we have, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and organize my inventory just a little bit. I'll be back in just a sec. Yep. Confirmed. Python is a badass with a rainbow. Yep. Okay, right. What if I do this? Oh, my wings go as well. Oh, dude, that's amazing. I love that, man. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let's see what other ones we have. Infernal Wisp. Whoa. Look at me. That looks awesome. Okay, let's see what other dyes we have. Uh, living Flame Dye. Okay, so that makes me go all flamey. Okay, cool. What else? Red Acid Dye. I don't know that one. I don't know that one, actually. Uh, right, what else? Glowing Mushroom. That looks kind of cool. I'm alright with this. Maybe Blue Wings? Whoa! That is fancy. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, Shadow Flame Hades Die. What the heck? Look at that. Awesome. Reflective Metal Die. That looks kind of cool, actually. It kind of makes me look like a... I don't know, like a Terminator Turtle dude. Okay, what else? Uh, living Ocean Die. That's pretty cool. I'm alright with that. Reflective Die. Uh, eh, I'm not a big fan of that one. What else? Shifting Sands. Oh, God. <laughs> that looks weird. Blue Acid Die. Eh, not a big fan of that one. And finally, the Grim Die. Ooh, oh, wow, that actually looks pretty cool. I like that. What if I put the metal die in here? Oh! Guys, this is what we're going with. We have ourselves looking all red with black wings. That is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> wow, GG's to you two, Ari Devs, for all the awesome new uh, dies here. That is pretty freaking sweet, dude. Right, okay. I think on that rather awesome note, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.